this week and it's not going to be a quiet weekend by any means it sounds like it's not and this morning was off to a really rocky start I want to yeah. take you through what we had this morning and really walk you through what happened across central Indiana so let's go back in time live Doppler 13 radar as we take that view of early this morning here you go watch it go across portions of Marion County and then it will exit to the east so I want your eyes to focus again as we start that loop just about five hours ago so we're going to go back to just about 7:16 this morning, those storms intensified, moved over Marion County, where funnel clouds were reported. Tornado warning was issued, and very strong wind gusts out of this storm pushed to the east. Winds gusting in excess of 60, maybe even 70 miles per hour, dumping a lot of rain at once. You saw those flooding pictures from Broad Ripple. I had a storm report from Broad Ripple of about 1.3 inches of rain and less than about 10 to 15 minutes. And when you look at this, this is pretty much how it played out. Just around Warren. This is the Broad Ripple area that was hit so hard. This is going to be basically in that Glendale area northeast of Indianapolis. Since midnight, we've also had extremely heavy rain as that cell pushed across just south of Lebanon. So in Boone County, anywhere from about 1.3 inches of rain to 2 inches of rain. And again, this was all in a very short amount of time. One good thing we can talk about right now, live Doppler 13 radar is clear. So our chance to clean up from those down trees, the down power lines, those crews are out there working really, really hard. We want to let you know if your family and friends do not have power, they can watch updates through our WTHR news app, and that's something that we will continue to update as we go through the day. Noblesville, Westfield, Crawfordsville, Geist, seeing sunshine. And while we're normally thinking sunshine is good, yes, we want to clear out, we want to clean up. It is good in a way. We're getting a break right now, but this is going to fuel, I think, a few more showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. 84 degrees is our current temperature. Winds out of the east-southeast at about 6 miles per hour. That dew point is right around the 70 degree mark. That's that oppressive level. We have a lot of moisture in place. So any shower or storm that does develop has the potential to drop a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. 78 degrees right now in Lafayette, 84 in Indianapolis, 81 in Muncie, 85 in Greensburg. 86 in Bloomington, and Seymour has 89 degrees. But once you factor in that humidity, it feels a lot warmer, closer to the 90 degree mark. And as we go into this afternoon, temperatures that eventually top out in the upper 80s are going to feel more like the mid 90s. So we are basically clearing out right now. That storm cell that caused all of the problems this morning with those severe wind gusts, extremely heavy rain, has died out, has pushed into Ohio. We're looking at a lot of moisture back off to the west, and I think we are going to see some redevelopment as we go into the afternoon. With that muggy meter, it will continue to be pretty high as we go through the next 12 hours, and this really extends into the weekend. So those without power, without the air conditioning, are going to be having a hard time this afternoon. This afternoon, very muggy. Just because we have a chance for storms in there doesn't mean it's going to rain everywhere this afternoon. But I have to put those isolated chances in there as temperatures make it up to 88, but we'll feel more like 95. We'll see 83 in Kokomo, 85 in Anderson, 86 in Broad Ripple, 87 in Mooresville, and 89 degrees in Mitchell. We do have a threat for some severe weather as we go into the afternoon, really the weekend. Heavy rain, main concern, damaging wind, and the threat for an isolated tornado is something we'll be keeping our eyes on. I do have to keep those chances in there as we go through the beginning of Operation Football with hit or miss storms. Temperatures will be falling into the upper 70s by 9 o'clock. Future Track 13 not showing a lot of activity, but I think we are going to get those storms that bubble up and we do have some chances for heavy rain. As we go into your Saturday, we should start off mainly dry, 74 degrees, but a chance for showers and storms because more widely scattered in the afternoon with a high of 88. And future track 13 on Saturday shows some activity on the radar by noon, scattered showers and storms by the afternoon sun Saturday. And then Sunday, I think we're going to get more redevelopment in the heat of the day. So the seven-day forecast is not a washout, but what I want you to know is under any of these storms, we could see local flooding because we're going to have so much moisture in the atmosphere. What's going to be dangerous too, heat indices pushing close to 100 degrees and that chance for showers and storms exists each and every day, something we will be watching and updating you right here and also on our WTHR app. Matt